start by um, uh, saying, you know, we had a challenging situation this afternoon in which uh, Deputy Sheriff was put in a tough situation at about three, uh, correction, at about 11.30 this morning. Deputies uh, responded to 2121 Woodland Avenue just behind us here to uh, arrest an individual that had a, uh, two a war a warrants, uh, arrest warrants. One of them was for uh, armed burglary, the other was for uh, aggravated assault with a firearm. Uh, as they approached the house and uh, knocked on the door, apparently uh, the grandmother who lives at the home answered the door and they saw the subject that was wanted inside the home. Uh, at that time, the individual uh, produced a handgun, pointed it at the deputies. They retreated from the front door along with the grandmother. At that point, uh, they secured the perimeter of the house and for the next several hours, uh, tried to communicate with the individual to give up peacefully uh, to let him know that he had a couple of uh, arrest warrants. Uh, at about 3.30, I'm estimating now, uh, the individual came out of the house. Uh, it appeared that he had a cell phone in hand and uh, they were, uh, by that time, the SWAT team was on scene. They began giving him specific instructions with what to do with his hands, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and at some point, um, his hands came down uh, and it appeared that he pulled a handgun. They shot him with a less than lethal round, uh, kind of hard plastic round, not a lethal round. The individual then uh, retreated attempted to retreat into the house. He fired one round at that point at deputy sheriffs. Uh, he retreated inside the house. Uh, a few minutes passed and then the individual uh, came back to the front door, firing rounds uh, out of the door at the deputy sheriffs. They returned fire and uh, ultimately mortally wounded the individual. So he uh, brought the gun fight to the deputy sheriffs themselves. A uh, 19 year old individual, white male, not going to identify him at this point to give the family the opportunity to be uh, adequately notified. The subject was transported to the hospital uh, where he was pronounced at the hospital himself. Uh, we're not certain at this point how many rounds uh, the individual fired at the deputies, but not uh, certain how many rounds the deputies fired at him. But in this case, uh, he put them in a tough situation where they had to save their lives and take his life in the process. So those are the details as we know it. Uh, I can say to you that uh, factually, uh, we have video of the incident that was taken uh, by one of our uh, drone devices. And so I reviewed that video. And so the information that I'm sharing with you at this point uh, is uh, consistent with what my staff has get, told me and it's also consistent with what I saw in the video itself. As we customarily do in situations where we have a deputy involved shooting, uh, we call an independent uh, law enforcement agency Typically, that's the Florida Department of Law Enforcement to do an independent review of the actions that were taken, uh, and that has been done at this point. Uh, the Florida Department of Law Enforcement has their investigators here on scene. Uh, they will do a concurrent uh, depth involved shooting investigation, and we'll do a death investigation as well. Sheriff, Sheriff how many when deputies the were involved in that shootout? Uh, it appears that as many as five deputy sheriffs fired rounds at this point. They were all SWAT team members at this point. Uh, our tactical team was in place and their ultimate goal was to have a peaceful resolution and to take the subject into custody without having the need to use uh, deadly force. But unfortunately, um, he fired at the deputies uh, first multiple times before they ever fired a lethal round.
said he was pronounced dead at the hospital. He was pronounced, he was transported and pronounced uh, at the hospital. Was he alive when he was taken to the hospital, do you know? I can only say that he was pronounced at the hospital. And do you know when he's 17, is he 19? The age that we've been given uh, will make him 19 years of age. Around 3.30 when he came out of the house, video shows he barely had his both hands raised. Where was the gun at that point? Uh, the gun was apparently concealed somewhere on his person in the waistband or something to that effect. Uh, he had a cell phone, but again, they were giving him instructions and at some point uh, to take him, uh, attempt to take him into custody without lethality, uh, he was shot with uh, less than lethal round. Uh, at that point, he uh, pulled his handgun and fired at the deputy sheriff's, retreated into the house. Uh, moments later, he came back to the front door firing at the deputies and he was immediately shot. You have, have a lot of angry uh, friends and, and neighbors over here. Community members. They're, they don't know. They say it's not justified. I mean, what, what do you say to them? Uh, the folk who may be critical at this point certainly have not had the privilege of seeing the video that I saw. Uh, and also, they were not present because this scene was secured by the deputy sheriffs and so what I can say is that uh, they don't know what they're talking about. They're, uh, they're being critical. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, the deputies were put in a tough situation. It's often uh, standard operating procedure, deputy involved shooting for officers to be placed on administrative leave. Is that happening with the five SWAT members in this case? Yes. Uh, as we do in uh, situations like this, the individuals who are directly involved, they're relieved uh, their law enforcement duty until such time that uh, we do preliminary investigations and uh, as we customarily do also whenever we have a traumatic incident like this it is a requirement that those individuals before they return to work they have to be cleared by a psychologist. And it was five deputies then? I'm told it's five deputies that actually fired their rounds today. And how close were they? Like how far were they away? And how... uh, they were not far from him at that point. He actually came out of the door and started shooting? Came out of the door shooting at the deputies. And were any of the deputies hit? We had no deputies that were hit by the rounds that he was firing. How frustrating, because it sounded like you guys were giving him every chance humanly possible. Like when I drove by, it sounded like you were like, hey, you've had a long day, just kind of come out, come out, you know. How frustrating is it for you guys when you worked with someone for so long and then you have to use lethal force? Well, no deputy sheriff enjoys having to take another person's life. And uh, today is no exception to that. Uh, our deputy sheriffs were here, obviously, after several hours of trying to convince this person to voluntarily come out, to come out uh, peacefully. He was given every opportunity to do that. In fact, again, they used uh, less than lethal rounds initially. He chose to use a lethal round and retreated into the home. Again, they continued to try to convince him to come out and give up. When he decided to come out, he brought the gunfight outside the home, firing at uh, the de deputy sheriff. So was it rubber bullet sheriff or was it bean bags? Do you guys know? It's a hard plastic round. Okay. And what were the warrants again that he was wanted for? The initial warrant was for armed burglary and aggravated assault. Then obviously, we went and got a, set, a third warrant because uh, the ag assault on the deputy sheriffs when they initially tried to take him into custody today. Uh, and we had a search warrant as well written to, uh, for the home uh, after the, the uh, initial incidents this morning at around 11. So you said the grandmother came out with, with the deputies initially and he was in there by himself? He was in the residence alone. Mm -hmm. So she came out after that? She, she came out uh, shortly after the does he live there? The subject? Uh, this was his grandmother's house, so I'm, I'm going to assume that he lived there at least uh, part of the time. All right, thank you, Sheriff. Thanks, Sheriff. Thank you.